NASA has released the first image from the world's most advanced space telescope, and it's certainly impressive. This is the deepest, most detailed view of the universe ever captured. The picture shows elements of the universe as they were 13 billion years ago, reshaping our understanding of the cosmos. Part of this image shows light from soon after the Big Bang. It's the first of several pictures to be released over the next few days. NASA's no stranger to first steps, and as we enter this new era of spaceflight and discovery, we need to be bold. We have to take risk, but the reward is worth the risk. Worth is emeritus distinguished professor of astronomy and astrophysics at the University of California, Santa Cruz. He joins us from the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, where the James Webb Mission Operations Center is based. Professor, welcome. Good to see you. Um, how excited are you? <laughs> Absolutely blown away. Thank you very much for having me on. This is a, an amazing morning. I've seen in an hour an incredible number of images, probably more science, new science, novel science than I've ever seen at one time in my life. What could this show? So the, this image the, of the very distant galaxies, Webb was designed to find the first galaxies. And 20 years ago, even longer, we were talking about that. And so this image is one that will be used by astronomers to really probe to the very earliest times, further back than Hubble has been able to do, than any of our other telescopes in ground or in space. It is truly a magnificent, deep image and, and just beautiful to look at. And explain to us what happens next after receiving these images. What research uh, might be undertaken uh, into these images? Yes, yeah, so the images that were shown today were really designed to demonstrate that web is working, and it is working astonishingly well. So what will happen next is that the uh, data will become available in the next day or so, and then astronomers images, digging out clues to what's happening for forming stars for the earliest galaxies, trying to understand the nature of planets around and other stars near us, exoplanets. So the range of science is huge, and that's sort of why I just felt that this last hour has just been, uh, just blown me away with the absolute power of Webb. In terms of understanding uh, other galaxies, um, where are we as a layman? Can you explain that to us? Yes, so we're on a galaxy and the universe is now 13.8 billion years old, hugely old. But what these telescopes allow us to do is to go back in time to see the light that has taken 13, 13 and a half billion years to reach us from the very earliest little seed galaxies, the baby galaxies that formed soon after the universe began, a few hundred million years. So we are looking with this image, we'll be looking into it, trying to find the tiny little red dots in there that we can then characterize as being from those early times and giving us information about the very earliest tiny little galaxies, which have grown, of course, to become our great Milky Way that we live in today. Professor, thank you very much indeed for coming on the program, and I hope we get to talk again in uh, the coming weeks and months as the research is analysed. Thank Certainly. you. Thank you very much, and thank you for having me.